All right, good to get that interview in. Uh, Shannon, how impressive was Russ's night? Uh, it was very impressive. Of all the Russ triple-doubles, I think he has 135 now. This is the most impressive one. And the points, you set that aside, even though he shot terrible for the, from the field, I think points is the easiest part of the triple-double. Now we get to the 2020. Skip, I think of all the greats that you can be on a list with, the most impressive one of all of them is Wilt Chamberlain. Because, statistically. Statistically. Yeah, right. Because most of the time, he's there alone. <laughs> There's no one else there with him. So if you join him, yep. that means at the dinner table, it's you and him. That is correct. Skip, when you look at it, a 6'3 guard got 20 rebounds. We see 2020 games all the time. Andre Drummond, he has the most since Moses Malone in the early 80s. We've seen guys get 30, 30-30. Uh, uh, I think Kev, uh, Kevin Love was the last guy to get a 30-30 game. We've seen those. Okay. There's only been two of these. <laughs> How much of an anomaly is this? There have been more quadruple doubles mm -hmm. in which a guy has four double-digit and steals, assists, rebounds, and points or blocks than this. Let that sink in for a second. There have been four of those games. Now there are only two of these games. <laughs> and you say, well, a 20 assists. Assist is not as easy as you think for the simple fact, Skip. Guy's got to make shots. 20 times he put a guy in position, 20 times they capitalized That's for true. it. It's not even because we've seen guys try for so long, a guy needs eight, has eight assists, he needs two. And he's trying for the last two, three minutes of the game, and they can't buy a bucket. Mm -hmm. So 20, 20. 20. And Skip, when you look at this, the previous nine games, they were two and seven. Mm. So it wasn't like this was a throwaway game, and I get it. Second, uh, second day of Ma uh, April. What does that mean? Well, the way they were playing and the way, yeah, we're going to be in the playoffs, but this is not how you want to go into the playoffs. And you know you're already, you're in the eight spot. You know who's in the one spot. Mm -hmm. Do you really want to be playing this bad and you have to go up against that juggernaut? Because they showed you last night when they want to turn it up and they feel motivated to play, they can run through anybody in any given also moment. Also true. So, Agreed. Skip, I was I was very impressed. And I, I, I was watching the game, and I was like, man, Russ got 10 assists in the first quarter. Hmm. First thing that went through my mind, it wasn't a 20-20-20 game. I was like, he going to break Scott Skiles' record mm -hmm. of 30 assists in a game, yep. in which he did in 1990. Mm -hmm. Scott Skiles, I mean, a lot of you have to probably go back and YouTube him, YouTube him Skip. But he can dish the not, ball. Not me. No, 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 you remember. <laughs> he went to, hey, he was the first of the second one. Magic was the first Michigan State guard. Mm -hmm. And then he came along, and then you got McCleaves and this young man now. Mm -hmm. But Scott Skiles dished the ball out. Skip, this was very impressive. It was very impressive. I mean, a 6-3. I'm trying to think who I thought could do this. Maybe LeBron, but I'm like, well, how's LeBron going to get 20 rebounds? Mm -hmm. Giannis, how's Giannis going to get 20 assists? You would have never thought it would have been a big guy. You know what? Even as great as Wilt was, and he had some 40-30 games. He did. You would have never thought a guy seven foot tall would dish out 20 assists, Skip. Can you explain that to me, please? <laughs> 21 on that night? I, I don't you know. You realize that year in 1968, he averaged nine assists a game at seven feet, one inches tall? That, How did he do it? Because he was known as the most selfish player ever, right. but he was getting... Yeah. He once led the league in assists, though, Skip. I, How do you do that? I, 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 21 assists? 7-1? Wow. A 6-3 guy right. got a 20, 20, 20. Yep. Game. Okay. And I think this is the most impressive of all the triple doubles of all 135. This is the most impressive. One. Okay. I am with you on that. And I do need one point of order because I've campaigned for years about this. A triple double should require 20 plus points. <laughs> you, you can't have a 10 point triple double. It just, it's. Oh, you don't want a kid triple wrong. double? It's, that's a Jason Kidd triple double. 11, <laughs> 11, and 11, right? <laughs> Count your votes. Yeah. All right. Well, it just doesn't. I know. It doesn't ring true to yeah. me right. because it's just by accident you could score 10 points. Right. At the free throw Agreed. line, you right. could score 10 points. Agree. So I was extremely impressed with Russell's pregame, in game, and postgame tributes. Mm hmm. Highly impressive. And I was most impressed with the 21 assists because of Russell's background. He came up as, as more of a selfish shooter. Right. And I used to just rail at him because I love Kevin Durant and he was taking more shots than Kevin. And he has reinvented himself mm -hmm. as an assist maker of the highest order. Now, he did realize, oh, if I get 
10 plus assists, I could have triple doubles. Right. So he fell in love with the triple double, but I predicted two years ago he was going to average a triple double and win MVP, and he did. Right. And he's still doing it, and he's still leading the league in assists, which is highly impressive. And 21 assists, I don't care who you are, where you are, <laughs> it's just hard to get it 21 is. assists. I was also impressed with the 20 rebounds. Now, you have had issues before mm-hmm. with the the discounted cheap rebounds, yes. right? Yes. So, with a minute and four seconds left in the game, Billy Donovan said, okay, that's enough of that. And they're up 16. He tried to sub Diallo for Westbrook, and it got a little awkward because Westbrook just said, no, no. I'm not coming out. <laughs> and I think the buck stops on this team with Russell Westbrook. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's LeBron-esque in his control of what's right. happening during the basketball game, right? right? Yeah. So, he said, leave me in, and he got two discounted rebounds, but he got them. Right. Because, to your point... At 6'3", to, to even get 18, let's say he w- w- ended with 18. Right. Would that not be highly impressive? Very. It's just hard. I don't even know how he does it. He does it because he just plays harder than anybody else. Mm-hmm. And you know what? He's as close to a football player playing basketball as there is. His mentality, Am I right? absolutely. Because it is high collision, high contact. And you can't tell me he's not sore after some of these games because – He's diving for loose balls, and he's also colliding for loose balls, Skip, right? And Skip, on 19, did you see? He was in the middle block where normally a seven-footer is. Okay. So they got a 6'3 guy. All right, okay. But he got it. He got it. He got it. How did so, he get it? Okay, so you you got to give him that. And now, let's back off. For perspective, did they need to win the game? Yes, they needed to win yes. the game because simultaneously, the game I was also watching was San Antonio, Atlanta, and they're vying for the 7 8 at the bottom of the West and it's going to quote unquote get to or have to play Golden State. So they're playing the Los Angeles Lakers, who are currently in the 10 seed, and they were playing with no LeBron James, no Brandon Ingram, no Kyle Kuzma, no Lonzo Ball. So how impressive was the opposition? Not very. Am I right? Is that fair to say? Very. Okay. That's fair. So that's one team you could do this against more easily than most. Mm-hmm. And also, remember, going into last night, Oklahoma City had lost 14 of its last 21. And we did a whole topic yesterday mm-hmm. about what's going on with Oklahoma City. Because over that stretch, which happened, let's start at the sort of the all-star break, mm-hmm. just before the break. They were third in the West, only a game and a half behind Denver, and they have plummeted to eighth in the West. Right. Okay, so just for perspective, why yesterday did we say that that was happening? What was a reason? Obviously, Paul George went from MVP candidate to slump. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hurt his shoulder, shoulder. missed three games. in the same sure. sense. But the other reason is Russell Westbrook has been, by his standards, a disaster shooting three-point shots and free throws this year, right? Yep. So just for perspective, he was two for nine from three last night, so that wasn't very good. But that's kind of been his M.O. every game this year because now he's he's hitting 28.6% of his three-point shots. Do you realize of the 184 players qualified in the three-point category, he's 182nd. He's 182 of 184 shooting threes at 28.6%. So he's been horrendous from three, right? But here's the thing, Skip. He's always been horrendous. He's a career 30 point, and now he's down to 28. This is his worst, okay? And yet he's never been this bad from the free throw line. Yes. Of the 122 qualified, he's 115th in the whole NBA. at 65.7, even slightly worse than LeBron shot this year, which was his career. But LeBron has never been a career 80% free throw shooter. Russ has. has. Yes. So he's got worse demons in his head Mm. than LeBron. So I'm just trying to frame this for you. So last night was special to him because he just said, I'm going to do this. And he dedicated it to Nipsey from the start. And he's yelling during the game, that's for Nipsey when he got his 20th rebound. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the big picture, would I prefer that he dedicate the rest of the season to Nipsey? I would. Would I love to hear him say, if they do draw Golden State, and we're not sure, it's still still a long way to go. Yeah, still a situation. Yeah. But would I love to hear him say, I'm going to dedicate the Golden State series to Nipsey? Mm-hmm. I would, because that would be special. Right. Because then you'd be doing something that really counted and lasted that's not an individual. It would be a team achievement, right? For me, and Skip, watching the game, uh, and he said it, 
because I'm watching Russ. Russ played the same as he always does. He's 100%. You know if you go see That's the true. OKC yep. and Russell Westbrook is playing that night, which normally he does 98% mm -hmm. of the time he does, yep. you know he's going to give you all that effort. Yep. This had to be something special. This had to be something else. And we see those moments. You remember Brett Favre. Father passed that Sunday. He played that Monday night. He and he, we had never seen Brett play like that. Guys were making plays. Hmm. They had no business making. I still said the Raiders were watching that night. <laughs> like, it just seemed like the DBs were just yeah, yeah, kind of like, watching. Yeah, yeah like, like, like what, what's going on here? Yeah. And watching Russ and see him get rebound after rebound after rebound, as I said before, Skip, you're explaining it. Him getting 19 rebounds, he's in a spot that normally a 6'8", 6'9", 7-foot guy is occupying. Mm -hmm. He's down there amongst the trees as a weed, and he gets the ball. He just wanted it more Desire. than he wants the ball more than anybody else on the court. Yeah, it's also athleticism, oh, yeah. explosion, yes, uh, physical toughness. He's diving. Yeah. He wants the ball. Yeah. He wants to win. That's I, I never question whether or not he wants to win. I never question or not whether or not he's playing hard because I know I'm getting his absolute best effort. Mm -hmm. I don't always agree with how he plays mm -hmm. the game. Sometimes I think he takes shots that he doesn't need to take, but. Last night was as good a performance that I've seen in a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. I never thought, like I said, I, I don't even know when, when 60, I was born in 68. So I don't even know if I was alive when Wilt actually did this. Mm. Maybe it was February 68 because I was born in it June. Was February 2nd. Yeah, so that was months before I was okay. even born All right. to let you know how special this mm -hmm. moment is. And I never thought, it never really dawned on me, Skip that I would ever, ever see mm -hmm. a 2020-20 game again. Mm. Of course, I can.